welcome to the revampires this is emily and today i am back working on my bombalirina doll when we last left off i was in the thick of applying all the yarn wefts so while i continue to do that let's take a look at what else i need to do to finish the doll she needs two accessories her tail and her collar i'm making the tail first using some cord elastic and the remaining yarn that i've already brushed and flat ironed I start out by measuring how much elastic I will need to comfortably fit around her waist and mark it with a pin. Then I take a needle and thread and sew the loop in place. This doesn't need to be clean or neat by any means, it's just a matter of making sure it doesn't move. Then I take the cord and sew it onto the back of the loop much the same way. I slip it back onto my model doll to measure roughly the length I'll need for the tail and cut. I dab a bit of glue on the cut end to seal it. Next, I untie the yarn from the hanger. And begin tying it directly onto the cord. I'm doing it this way because I want it to look like the tails that are worn in the stage costumes for the musical. I'm using similar methods that are used to make those tails, but have obviously scaled them down for doll size. I thought the cord needed to be just a little shorter, so I cut and reseal the new end. Then it's just a matter of trimming all the fur down to the size I want. And I also cut the excess elastic because I forgot to do that. Next is the collar. I'll be using some Velcro, rhinestones, toothpicks, craft foam, and some super glue. First, I measure a Monster High girl's neck for the approximate size I'll need. Cut a rectangle of foam and adjust it as needed until the fit and size is what I want. Next, it needs Velcro as a fastener. We recently restocked our black Velcro, so this is way more than I actually need. Once I know where the pieces need to be attached, I pour out a little super glue and apply it with one of the toothpicks. And if you accidentally get super glue on your skin, be sure to wash it off with acetone and wash your hands with soap and water immediately. Now that we have a collar, it's time to decorate. Looking at pictures of Bombalirina for reference, I start with a red rhinestone in the center. Then I cut off the ends of the toothpicks to use as spikes. And I alternate between them until the whole collar is full. I also paint the spikes with gold metallic paint. and then seal the paint with gloss varnish. 
And would you look at that, all the fur is finally in place. Whew! Off camera, I reattach her head after heating the neck hole with a hairdryer. I'm really happy with how the head and body look together. The time has come for the shearing. I give everything a brush to make sure it's smooth and clean. Then get to work. Like with the tail, I make sure to do it slow with small cuts to better avoid going too far. I also keep a paintbrush nearby to clean away all of the tiny yarn bits that fall onto her body. All things considered, I am pretty darn pleased with this. Though if I make another cat's doll in the future, I might try rooting the yarn directly into the head rather than gluing it on. Let's put on her accessories! And there she is! Real quick before the photo shoot, I ended up putting some watered down hair gel on the tips of her hair, mainly to keep her ears in shape. There certainly are easier characters I could have done for a cat's doll, but Bombellerina has always been one of my favorite designs. I love how they leaned into that unnatural fire engine red color and how the stripes on her torso give the vague idea of lingerie. Striking, sexy, and fun. And no, we're not going to talk about how I accidentally flip-flopped the colors of her hands. <laughs> I am so happy with how she turned out. I am definitely letting my freak flag fly with this doll. It's a combination of two of my most oddball hobbies. And if you are interested in purchasing this doll, she will be up for sale in our Etsy store one week after this video has gone live. A link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. You can support the video by giving it a like, and if you're interested to see what other doll projects we do in the future, consider subscribing to the channel. Bye! Oh my god, 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 oh my god.